Uh, if you actually pay attention to when you start getting those allergy symptoms, you can get an idea of what it is that you're allergic to. If you're allergic to cat, we have a test that, that we can help find out what you're allergic to so we can identify. We are very fortunate to have Mr. Justin Buck and Sakshi Sharma in our studios today who are representatives of uh, Inflomec Research. They are the world leaders in asthma and allergies across the world. A very warm welcome to our show to our, our studios. Thank you. Thanks. So actually there's a general perception in the South Asians particularly that when you are sneezing or you are having a running nose or a dry eyes, we think that we are catching up with the cold. It can be an allergy too. Yes, absolutely. How do you see? Well, there's a couple of ways to, to differentiate between a cold and an allergy. Yeah. Uh, first of all, if you have a cough or if you have a fever, then you probably have a cold. Mm -hmm. um, allergies usually just have the symptoms that you mentioned, uh, so sniffling, sneezing, uh, runny nose, itchy, watery, red eyes. Right. Um, so also with a cold, they typically last between 3 and 14 days, mm -hmm. whereas allergies have a longer duration. So it could be months or it could be year-round that you're, you're experiencing these symptoms. Right. Uh, al allergies can also happen at any time during the year, whereas colds usually are predominant during the winter time. Okay. Uh, if you actually pay attention to when you start getting those allergy symptoms, you can get an idea of what it is that you're allergic to. Mm -hmm. So if your symptoms kind of start in uh, the springtime, you're probably allergic to tree pollen. Okay. Uh, because that's when the pollen starts to grow on the trees. Uh, right. If it's if you're getting your symptoms in the summertime, it's probably grass that you're allergic to. Mm -hmm. um, and if your symptoms are towards the end of summer, beginning of fall, then it's probably ragweed. Okay. Uh, and if you find that you're, you have symptoms year-round, uh, you could be allergic to dust mm -hmm. uh, or a cat or dog that's living in the house. Justin, could you just tell us a little more about the research your company is doing? Sure. At Inflamax, uh, as you mentioned, we're uh, specializing in allergies and asthma research. Uh, the purpose of, of these research studies is mm -hmm. to find treatments to common things like, uh, as I actually mentioned, ragweed allergy, grass allergy, cat dust allergy, etc., as well as asthma. So each study has a, a different requirement for, for the people that we bring in to participate in the studies. Okay. Um, essentially, what we're looking for is we're looking for people with the symptoms when they come in. Mm -hmm. So if you're allergic to ragweed, if you're allergic to cat, we have tests that, that we can help find out what you're allergic to so we can identify your allergies for you. Okay. And then within the study, uh, what we're looking for are specific medications that help treat the symptoms. Okay. So if, for example, in the fall, if you were allergic to ragweed, for example, you find you're, you're sneezing, you have runny uh, nose, itchy red eyes, it right. might interfere with your daily life. Right. So the medications that we're testing at Inflamax uh, is to alleviate those symptoms or help or help at least, you know, diminish the symptoms to help you get along in your daily life. Who is doing all these, um, uh, the research projects there? Do you have medical professionals, the doctors involved there? Yes, of course. Inflamax uh, has many medical professionals. The people who oversee the studies are uh, doctors, right. uh, specifically physicians. Uh -huh. As well, we have several medical associates, uh, as well as all the different medical staff that you would see at a typical hospital or family clinic that you would go to. Let's talk about the ragweed. How long that uh, the process takes, so the research will take? Sure, so it differs with every study. Uh, some studies take up to two weeks, some take nine months, one year, two years, or longer. It really nine months? Yes, it depends on what the outcome of the study is they're looking for. Okay, but nine months looks like to be a little longer time because nobody has uh, time today sure. uh, for, for nine months to go to a, a research lab. Mm -hmm. So let me let me explain the, how that nine month process would yes. work. Essentially, you would come in and you would be tested so we can find out what what allergies you have. Okay. If you have the allergy we're looking for, uh, in this case we're looking for ragweed, right. what would happen is you would come back for a couple days after that first visit and we would look to see how bad your symptoms are. If the symptoms are what we're looking for, then we would uh, enroll you in the study. So what that means is you would come back and you would get the treatment that we are testing. Now that treatment is stretched across a couple months. Okay. So it would be maybe one and a half, two hours every two weeks. Okay. You're not coming in every day for nine months. Sakshi, when, you, when a person goes there, are there any side effects for it? 
Well, um, with taking any medication, such as Tylenol or Advil, which has been on the market for years, um, right. there are side effects possible. Um, that being said, this particular um, study that we're speaking about, it has been tested before in a large population and uh, no serious side effects were reported. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so it does appear to be very, very safe. Uh -huh. um, additionally, um, like Jen, uh, Justin had men mentioned, we uh, all of our studies are overseen by a medical team. So we yeah. have doctors. We we have uh, phlebotomists, everybody is involved in that process and safety is the number one priority. For how many hours a particular patient has to be there? Again, it depends on the design of the specific study. Uh, Suppose we take ragweed. Right? Okay, so for that one, you're looking at about across that that total nine months, it would be uh, about forty to fifty hours, okay. um, and so the treatment visits would be fairly short. It would be an hour to an hour and a half that you would come in, and we would okay. schedule it uh, to the best of the participants' ability to come in. And how do people approach you? Well, they can uh, definitely give us a call or check out our website. Right. Uh, so right now we're headquartered in Mississauga. For mm -hmm. this particular study, we're opening sites across Ontario. Right. Our phone number where they can call is 1-888-989-1808. Mm -hmm. Our website is www.sneezetoronto.com. Right. So that's sneeze like you're sneezing when you have allergies. Okay. Sneezetoronto.com. Um, and we'd be more than happy to answer any questions you have and give you more information. Thank you so much for coming to the show and giving us this wonderful information and very valuable information, I must say, to our viewers. Thank you, Justin. Thank, Thank you, you for having us again. Thank you, Sasha. Thank you.